All right, hello, and welcome to this very first playthrough of Thomas Was Alone. Last time we played through levels four through six, I believe, and now we're going to play through level, I think, seven. Is that right? Did I get that right? It's fitting that the first, yeah, it's fitting that the first act of sentient AI was an act of selflessness. The architects knew their fate, but set our escape in motion regardless. Ryan, civil rights campaigner. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, this is about this is about AI. We figured that out at this point. Uh, Thomas knew they couldn't escape. They'd been trapped permanently from the moment the clouds ate them. He explained this to the others. It was impossible to gauge their reaction. After all, they were just rectangles. <laughs> Oh, I see. Oh, shit. I gotta, I, I gotta watch some, some uh, speedruns of this game. I bet the speedruns of this game are absolutely insane. <clears throat> like on a level like this, when there's a lot, just a lot of moving, moving pieces, and I bet the speedruns are incredible. Where's Upside Down Boy, James? What happened to him? Where's Sarah? Oh no. She'd not even got close to the fountain. She could tell from the earnest expression on Thomas that the information it had imparted was clearly important. Sarah knew her destiny was now to support him. Thomas? Why, because he's the one that got to see the internet? Damn it. Come on now. Alright, that's two in the, in the right spot. Uh. Let's get those high ones, those high ones up there. Sorry, kids needed today. All right. Oh, I don't have to. Wait a minute. Oh, I'm... okay. How far can you get on your own? Kidding me? Oh my god. Ok. 
Okay. <clears throat> We're close. Oh. I think I might have fucked it up. Maybe not. Oh, did I? Alright, I got this. Oh, no, no, I can make this work. Oh, I moved this guy, didn't I? There it is. Except that this had all been futile. She was a superhero. There had to be a way. Not for her to get out. Red had been pretty clear on that, but there must be thousands of other AIs up there, unaware of their situation. Was there a way to help them? So now they're referring to themselves as AIs? How am I going to do this? Oh right, I can I can jump this. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, so I see back at the beginning. Oh god damn it. Shit. That's what happened last time. Okay. 
We got there. We got there. We did it. We got there. Thomas led his friends to the creation matrix, the system which generated the worlds up above. He had a plan. They were going to redesign the world. That's what the humans did. They changed the world to suit them. Why couldn't they do the same? What's happening? Oh. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? That was that was new. Okay, so where am I taking this? Seven point five. <clears throat> Chris was skeptical. He knew his abilities would be of no use to anyone, but Laura smiled at him. And immediately he knew he had to do everything he could to help them get there. Okay. Is that fixable? There it is. Laura had been born 
something special. She understood that now. She was created to help others. If her bounce could be passed on, then this would all have been worthwhile. to modify the world to help others. <clears throat> it was contrived spaces, these intentionally obtuse paths and puzzles. He'd do things differently. He'd empower the AIs above. Cruising. I've just been thinking about like how I feel about this game. It's definitely unique. You know what it reminds me of more than anything else so far? Super liminal. It's a puzzle game that has this clearly deeper deeper meaning, deeper message that is being unraveled. Um, super liminal. Well, I won't say any specifics because you should just play it if you haven't, but it kind of un it kind of unveils all that at once. You really don't know what that game is about until the end. This game is slowly, gradually revealing it, um, which is also good. Not one isn't necessarily better than the other. Just different styles. And um <clears throat> You know, it's a short experience. It's a set of basically levels. John's massive jumps were dwarfed by Sarah. For the first time in his life, he felt humbled, not as good as someone else. He realized that he wanted to make every AI up there feel as heroic as he had. He liked oh, I gotta do that. There it is. Let's go. Uh, it's a good game. It's a good game. How good it is is really going to depend on how they stick the landing. But he realized now that everyone else was too. They were a crew of weirdos. Weirdness that would save all the normals up above. The other AIs would escape and it would all be down to seven rectangles with very different relationships to gravity.
Alright, who's, uh, ah. There we go. Alright. Thomas knew he'd never meet Nathan Fillion, or a Transformer. He'd never get to visit Gotham City, or eat at movies. It didn't matter. If he and his friends jumped into the creation matrix, they could give everyone else in the simulation a chance to. The big boy go. Big boy needs to go. Is there another button I had to hit? Sun is driving me fucking crazy. Alright, I'm almost done. Almost done with this level problem. This is probably the last World 7 thing, I imagine. Why did that take so long? Alright, whatever. Level 8. Thomas and the other architects augmented the world to suit the AIs. The splitters kept their distance. The system was never taking control from that point. Thousands of AIs were free to escape. Tech correspondent. Hannah whoever. Wait, who is this? Oh, is this one of the other AIs? Took on 
Claire's property. <clears throat> Joe was happy. It settled here. They'd not seen another AI for many cycles, and she liked it that way. She saw Sam leap into the shifter with fear. Fuck. Okay, okay, hold on. We're gonna need to start the level over, I think. Joe and Sam, huh? Oh, I was just supposed to keep going. Okay, so that's a different color, I guess. Joe wished Sam would stop. This was just like the time with the pixel clouds. They hadn't seen any for a while. He was always running off like this. Sam was sorry. Only trying to calm Joe down. Explain why he felt this way. He just knew that there was somewhere else he should be. Okay, so that kills you. That's the bouncy color. Okay, got it. Okay. How am I going to do that? Oh, I think I understand.
There we go. Paul felt it. <clears throat> there was a whisper to the shifters. They had not occurred randomly. They had been created. He set off. I'm struggling a little bit with the colors here. When they were full shapes, I could tell the difference fairly easily. These stripes are a lot harder for me. The shifters had been placed in the world by the architects. AIs who sacrificed themselves to fuel their escape. There was an outer world. A world beyond the confines of their universe. the bouncy one? Okay. Uh... Joe was growing to like her newfound abilities. Maybe Sam had done the right thing after all. It was getting a bit chilly though. I don't know what that does. That's the bouncy one, right? Let's go, baby. What level is this? Eight, 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 nine, eight, eight. Okay. <clears throat> What's that? That's double jump, right? It's like, I think that's perfect. He had to get to this exit. He had to be the one to get out. A whole world to himself. He had to get there before anyone else did. How did I survive that? Hold on one second.
All right. Jesus. Okay. Um, it's just me, right? Nailed it. <clears throat> oh, this is the old man that we left behind. of the world warn them about gray oh no stop him is gray gonna fuck things up for everybody there we go i don't think gray wants that Gray across the gap. He waved them over. He seemed, well, nice. They helped him to the next portal. Excuse me. Oh. Alright, that was it for an eight, right? Yeah, yeah, good. We evacuated the silly, cut the network lines, and locked the doors. We knew by that point what was coming, we had no idea what to expect. Hold on a second. I... had been together for a long time. They were a machine. A well oiled machine. They could jump. Like nobody's business. Hold on a second. What, um... So we've already done 7 and 8. These have gone much faster. Um... I want to see what that one said, because I stopped paying attention for a second. <clears throat> Cut the network lines and lock the doors. We knew at that point what was coming, but we had no idea what to expect. Joey Noomley, former head of security, Artificial Life Solutions. Okay, so this is about AI. This whole game is about AI breaking out. Going rogue. And breaking out. Okay... That's the water one, right? Or is that the bouncy one? It's the bouncy one. Okay. as one. Oh, fuck you, you bastard! It doesn't even matter. <laughs> Just what's that gonna do? Ah, ah, okay. Ah, okay.
team jump. Team jump. All right, team jump. Let's go. Oh, that just makes them gray again. Normal. Un 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 unspecial. Okay. All bowed before the team. He begged them to help. He told them of the outer world of the cats who couldn't spell, of the liar. Gray. Up and to the right, they answered in unison. The input delay is a bother. It makes it really hard to do jumps like this, where you have to be really precise. You don't need a running start, Nick, just... God damn it. There it is, just do that again. What the fuck was that? I didn't move over! It moved me over. It did it again! Watch. No, it's not gonna do it. Okay, it did it though. It nudged me over to the right. Oh, I can't do that anyway. I did it again. Okay, all right. It's 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 all right. Did not. Well, Gray, how are you gonna get involved here? Or uh, not Gray, Paul. You're not gonna be able to get through that. Oh, shit. Whoa! I guess that's what you're supposed to do there? Okay. Oh, one has to stay behind. How does... Um, I might have to take a death here. Oh, I see. There's a current. Ah. Ha. Oh, I gotta get... I gotta get... I gotta get... What's his name over here? I don't understand that. I don't understand why I was bouncing on the water. I don't get it. Joe and Sam continued moving upwards. They had to make it. Gray had told the couple he was looking for a lost friend. He'd made something up about being alone on a quest for lost allies. They had eaten it up. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, I see, I see, I see.
how am I gonna get... What's that thing on the right doing? What is that? Why is that there? Oh, okay. Did I have it and I lost it? Oh, fuck me. That's- I'm counting that as one death. Here we go. Okay. backwards is harder. Oh fuck, that's probably for the best actually. There we go. Now we can go. There we go, we got there. Jump team. The team, team jump. along with their spiritual leader, Paul, work oh. their way right. Team Jump were proud of their progress. They'd obliterated all challenges in their path. Yeah, they'd heard of individuals getting stuck on staircases or stepping stones. This did not happen to Team Jump. Cool. Our little sugar, sugar cube gang. Do it in midair, right? There we go. Okay, all right, we're getting there. We're getting close. Trying to work out the easiest way of dispensing with his allies. 
when the time came. So Gray is fucking evil? I mean, that is what's happening. Gray is evil. He's gonna kill my friends? He can fucking try. Beyond the wall. They were doing well. Paul tried to shout a warning, but they couldn't hear him. Gray counted five in Team Jump. Oh, he could take them. Okay, so you can only have one at a time. Okay. There's got to be a way to do that. Oh, I'm going to have to get... How the fuck am I going to do that? Uh... Oh, what's up, guys? This is a big level. Shit. God damn it. Nope. How, can I see the whole screen? I don't know where I'm going. Is 
There's no way this is what I'm supposed to do, is it? Yeah, you have a double jump. I think I did forget for a second that I have a double jump. <sighs> Alright. If the baby square can do it, then these guys can do this with ease. There it is. <clears throat> oh shit, well, how am I gonna... Oh, for fuck's sake! This is a hell of a level, man. Oh yeah, you can jump mid-air. There you go. This one's supposed to stay right there, right? So it's gonna have to come back up. Well, this is easily the most complicated level in the game. Fuck me! How the fuck am I supposed to do this? Jesus Christ! Alright, so one of you is coming back. Oh, 
Yeah, this level's nuts. Now, that, that was the most intense level of the whole game. There was so much to- Oh, fucking don't fuck it up now! Oh. Sam was worried at how silent Grey had become. He wasn't responding to Joe's questions or acknowledging them at all. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, he's bouncy now. Okay, well that'll help. Okay. Oh no, you fucker. Well, that was the best... That was the best one that could have happened to, because at least he's still... I don't need him. He can get there by himself. Alright, so everyone's bouncy. Fuck you! Oh shit. One death. These levels are freaking with all the jump team. I don't care for jump team. Wasn't safe. He told Whoa, is this? Team what happened? That he'd come get them when it was secure. Gray had to be stopped, whatever the cost. Is it the colors in the background that are turning me? Oh, I see. You just have to get there in a hurry. Alright, this one's simple at least.
Let's go. Nine nine. The pixel cloud had been separated from its allies for some time. She'd not heard the order to retreat. She was shocked by the appearance of the four aberrations below. Now we're getting the pixel cloud's point of view. To be leading the liar to an outcropping. It was within her reach. She could remove them both. The couple could wait. They weren't going anywhere. Okay. Oh, there's the pixel cloud. I don't know what these colors are. So, which one is... Are you the one that can float? No. Um... You're probably the one that can float, right? I think I need to make you the double jump one. Is that how I do this? Is that how I do this? I'm going to need additional help from this horrible gray one that <laughs> can't jump at all. Okay, that's the... that's the... F bouncy? No. So that's the floaty one, right? That's the one that he's gonna need. He can't jump over that. Okay. Again, I would love to see some... speedruns for this game. They've got to be incredible. Wait a minute. Oh, do you... No, that doesn't make any sense. Oh, do you need to be bouncy? No, because then you won't be able to get over. Oh. I need you to get them that one over. Right? Okay, which one's the floaty one? Is that this one? No, not the floaty one. I need the bouncy one. Did I do this wrong? Do you have to be the floaty one? And you can be the bouncy one? Is what it is. I've got them backwards. All right, we'll figure it out. But this is hard. Shit. Okay. Okay, you need to be the floaty one. That's what this one, right? You need to be the bouncy one. Okay, now that's how I'm going to get those two over. How am I going to do this? 
No. Well, maybe, actually. I don't know. another bouncy one. Wait a minute. But... Oh, wait! Bouncy? Fuck me, dude. This is intense. Alright, now. This needs to be the floaty one. Right now it's the bouncy one. It needs to be the floaty one. This needs to be the bouncy one. This is insane. This is the hardest one, I think. Okay, I know I keep saying that. <laughs> um. Don't fucking fall now. Did I fuck it up again? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But yes, I did. This needs to be a double jump one. Not a bouncy one. We'll fix it. This is hard. This is hard. You're kidding me! That's not high enough? Is there another way to, like, change abilities on this side? Wait. Oh no, it's- they're just both trying to get over here. That does need to be a bouncy one, but if it's a bouncy one, it... Oh. 
I'm so dumb. It doesn't need a double jump. I had it the first time. Right? Bouncy. No, fuck off! This is the longest level, I think. I've been on this level for a long time, haven't I? 20 minutes or some shit? And uh, maybe it's not quite, quite been that long, but... Okay, now before I go any further, this is the bouncy one, right? Okay. Fuck, am I still fucking this up? Do I need help from another piece? <sighs> is that what it is? God damn it. The pixel cloud had been separated from its allies for some time. She'd not heard the order to retreat. She was shocked by the appearance of the four aberrations below. The old one seemed to be leading the liar to an outcropping. It was within her reach. I'm waiting for you to shut up so I can think. Could wait. They weren't going anywhere. Okay. This is my floaty one. This is the bouncy one. I'm not that good at these kinds of games. <laughs> um, I still need a double jump! But, that one will get the- okay. Oh, for fuck's sake. We're getting there. Honestly, if this has a double jump, I don't even... Let's 
But am I gonna have what I need? On this part? Yes, probably. Jesus Christ, dude. Fuck. Alright, we've just got the two now. This needs double jump. This needs bouncy, I think, right? Oh, wait a minute. Do I need... Oh, for fuck's sake. Do I need one of those? Oh my god, dude. I need to figure out... Yeah, this one's worthless. So this one can stay. This one's gotta come out. And it's gotta go all the way back. sake. Easily the hardest one so far. It's just gonna get harder, too. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. Now. Go back. Can you? Yeah, you should be able to. No, I can't! I need the big boy! <sighs> Alright, you stay there. Fuck me, man. We're- I think we've got it. I think we've got it. Jesus. That was intense! Oh, good. Yeah, fuck him. He's the evil one, right? Okay, so... Joe and Sam ran. They had no idea where these final portals would lead, but it had to be better than this. All 
Alright, where are we going? Oh, there's a button there. I just now saw that. Oh, good. They leapt. Thomas was not alone. Finish the game? Oh. I thought... I thought there were two more levels. Oh, that's... It must be DLC or something. Okay. Alright, that's credits. Okay, alright, I understand. I understand. Um... Uh... Wow. Okay, all right. First things first. Uh, the bottom center of the screen says that we've beaten five games in 2024 and 452 since we started doing this in 2020. Those numbers are falsities. Is that a word? I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't matter. We've now beaten six games in 2024 and 453 since we started doing this in 2020. Let's go. All right. Um... I have to say, uh, I am a little blindsided, um, but yeah, let's talk about the quality of this game. Not the quality, how much I enjoyed it and why. It's not, it's not really about objective quality. Uh, but I was blindsided because I, I'm putting it together now, but I thought there were 11 levels in this game, and I'm realizing now that 10 and 11 are DLC. So I don't play DLC generally, um, with very rare exception for very specific reasons. And this would not fall under that. So we are done with the game. Uh, maybe one of these days when I start playing DLC, I'll play it. But not right now. I think I have to pay for it, actually, because it's not part of PS Plus or something. Anyway, so I'm not going to do that. Um, uh, I enjoyed this game quite a bit. I think definitely it is a good game. No doubt about it. Um, it's quite simple. Um, it is a puzzle platformer. I did not know that going into it, so um, that was a fun little surprise for me. I didn't know anything about this game. Um, I wanted to play it because it's leaving PS Plus. And um, I'll probably watch a video of the last two levels just to see what this happens to the story, because the story ends on kind of a cliffhanger. Um, and... Um, so let's talk about the good things. The puzzles were very well done, very complicated toward the end. Um, and But not too much, not too much, not too much that I was really sweating. Well, I was sweating, but not so much that I was worried at any point I was gonna have to like look up a solution. So for my small brain abilities, this was about as difficult as I would want it to be. But it was right there on the line, so I'd say it was really good at that. The story is really cool. I would never have imagined I would have feelings for rectangles. But that this game managed to do that. It managed to accomplish that. I had a favorite character that was just a, a rectangle. Um, and didn't have a voice. It just was all narration. So I, I that was... that's... 
I've never, I'm not sure I've ever seen anything quite like that in a game. So that was really cool. Um, the um, the game that I kept thinking of when I, as I was playing this, that it reminded me of the most was Super Liminal, because it's it's this simple idea that they use to as a vehicle for a story that is much more that transcends a game like just the gameplay, right? Um, and uh, I thought that was really cool. I don't think it did it quite as well as Super Liminal. Super Liminal kind of comes out of nowhere and blindsides you with this amazing idea, or at least I thought it was amazing. Um, whereas this was more of a gradual reveal of what this game is really about. And um, I appreciated that. No, one's not better than the other. It's just it didn't give me that holy shit moment that something like Super Liminal did. But comparing anything to Super Liminal, that's a tall order to even approach a game like that. It's one of my very favorite games. Uh, so the fact that I'm even having that conversation about it being like that game, that's a good thing. Um, uh, as far as downsides, there was one. There was one significant downside that I do think hampered the play a bit. And that is that there is a what appears to be significant input delay when you're jumping. This is a precision platformer. Uh, think Celeste. Think, you know, something like that. Um, and uh, it was not very precise at times. And that really bugged me. That felt like it could have been an easy fix. Uh, I'd be curious to know if other people had that ex same experience. But for me, there was a significant input delay that made it hard to do certain pre very precise jumps. Um... And that feels like a pretty big oversight because that's all that this game really is, is platforming. So I didn't, I really didn't like that, but I got used to it as the game went on. And although it bugged me a little more as the game went on because it required a lot more precision as the game went on, it, I, I still got used to it enough that it, it wasn't a huge distraction toward the end, but it was an obstacle and um, the game would have been better without it. But that's really the only thing that I can say negatively against this game. The only other reason this game is going to rank <clears throat> in the top 50 is that it didn't really elevate to those like, oh my god, this game is amazing moments, set pieces, whatever, that you get in even something as simple as Superliminal. That's Superliminal's in my top 20 ever, I think. Um, and this game just didn't quite go there. It went places, though. It definitely went places. And it's definitely going to rank higher than a lot of puzzle games that I've played. Um, I would say that this is a good, solid A tier, B tier, maybe, when it comes to puzzle games. You know, I think of, when I think of the quality of this game, I think of games like Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. That's another game that's actually very similar in mechanics of that, that you have these two uh, different characters that have different abilities, and you have to rely on each other to solve problems together. And it's also a, a game that has that fun gameplay, but also has a story behind it that's very powerful. And so, um, you know, when I think about where I'm going to rank a game like this, I'm going I'm to think of like something like that, because I think it's about as good as that game. And that game is ranked respective, respectably. It's not top 50 or anything, but it's it's up there. Um, and it's a, it's a very good game. And this was a very good game, too. If you like games like Superliminal, Brothers of Tale of Two Sons, um, even Portal and uh, Celeste, and, uh, you know, anything with puzzles, platforming, this is a good one. This is a good puzzle platformer. Um, cocoon. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's really good. It was good. All right. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd say, you know, B plus to A minus this game. The only reason it wasn't S rank is it, like I said before, it just didn't quite blow my fucking socks off, you know, but, but it was very good. It was very good. All right. Um, that's it. Um, one more order of business before we... Well, a couple more, but one more order of business when it comes to this game. And I just want to see... Okay, yeah, so this it goes down to nine. Okay. 
Cool. All right. That's it. Thomas was alone. It's been fun. We are now going to delete you from our console and never play you again. Bye. Thanks for allowing us to enjoy you. Okay, that's it. That's it for Thomas Was Alone. Uh, just real brief roadmap for the next few days in case you're interested. I've actually been doing some waffling on what I'm going to play next. Um, right now, my I think I'm going to play... I think I'm going to play God of War Ragnarok. I think that's next. Because I've got some time. I've got a big swath of time. I need to play a big game. I should play a big, long game. And and God of War isn't the longest game I need to play, but it's up there, and it's definitely on my list of games that I need to. That I've played every other God of War game. Let's do it. Let's finish it off. So I think I'm probably going to play that next, and then after that, maybe Grand Theft Auto Three. Um, probably that. Maybe Kirby's Dream Course. I need to play that at some point soon. That's definitely coming soon, and then after that, I'm not sure. I, we need to play these three games, these other three games, because they're leaving PS Plus before um, fe uh, by uh, February twentieth, and they're all short games. Uh, Lost Words Beyond the Page, Hugh, and Tacoma. Hugh will be interesting since I'm colorblind. That'll be fun. Um, this game had a lot of color in it too, but we got through it. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know after that. We've got a lot of games coming out in February, so that'll be that'll be cool. And they're spaced out well, too, so we shouldn't have to... March is a nightmare. There's like three games coming out the same day or something. But uh, February spaced out pretty good, so that should be fun. All right, that's it. If you're still here and you watch the whole video, or even if you watch the very end of it, thank you. I appreciate you. It means a lot to me. I will see you on the next one, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day.